Hello everybody, how are you? I hope you're doing well um, and enjoying spring. It's sort of quite nice today. It's nice to see a wee bit of growth and stuff, isn't it? Um, so um, this week we're going to do a wee bit of preparation for an Easter project. I'm sure you can see a load of eggs in front of me. Um, I just want you to prepare some eggs so that we can decorate them in the next class. Um, and there are lots of different ways of doing this, but um, uh, I've boiled my eggs because I'm too lazy to blow them. But if you want to blow them so that you can um, put a, a ribbon or a thread in them and, and hang them up and then you can keep them, that's fine. Um, just make a hole in both ends of the egg, a sort of decent sized hole, um, and then blow the, the egg and the yolk out into a bowl and then you can use that and keep it for a long time as long as you don't break them. Um, but I couldn't be bothered with the palava of that, so I've just boiled my eggs and um, I've painted some. Um, so these two I painted with chalk paint. This one I just painted with emulsion. You could use acrylic, you could use poster paint, use any sort of water-based paint that you have lying about. Um, I wouldn't use oil-based for obvious reasons, it would just take too long to dry. Um, but I also had a wee go at dyeing some eggs, so um, that's not a very good example. But if you can see the texture on those, I dyed them using red cabbage. So um, what you do is you, you chop up some red cabbage, like a, a decent cup sized full of cabbage, put it in some water. Um, a few cups of water and boil it for about an hour um, and then uh, sieve, sieve the, get the cabbage out and put the water into like a, a big bowl or a glass jar or something like that um, and let it cool down and then put your boiled eggs into the dye. So um, it depends how long you leave them in for what kind of colour they're going to be. So this paler one, I had actually left that in overnight and then the darker one probably would have been for two nights. Um, so you can see a bit of a difference in those two. Um, this one I did with beetroot but it wasn't very successful. It, it sort of changed the colour a bit and it's made it look very chalky, which I like, but it hasn't really taken the, the colour of the beetroot. But this one I had done with the beetroot and then I put it into the red cabbage and it's gone quite an interesting colour. I quite like that one. So um, if you feel like having a go at the dyeing, there's other things you can try. Apparently onion skins are really good. Um, and you know anything that has a good strong colour, blueberries might work. Um, you could try that. Um, or if you don't want to go to the bother of that, then just paint a few. I've gone for a sort of colour theme, as you can see. They're all sort of variations on a theme. Um, and then we'll do a wee bit of decoration in the next class. So I hope you have fun with that. Okay, thanks. Bye bye.